so elaborating on in on line 10 it says but you O lord be merciful to me and raise me up so after um his own familiar friend you know that he trusted who ate his bread has lifted up his heel against him all right his own son did that to him he's saying but you O lord be merciful to me and raise me up so when his son kicked him down all right he asking god to have mercy on him and raise him up because when you lift up your heel against somebody like we talked about when you kick somebody you lift their heel i mean you're knocking that person down you're stepping on that person that person is like you consider that person under your foot all right and then so he asking god to what have mercy and raise him up all right that i may repay them all right so he's now he want he wants to uh take vengeance um and then he said that by this i know that you are well pleased with me so he knows that god is well pleased with him when god raised him up all right from being knocked down because my enemy does not triumph over me so when god has um has raised him up then he's saying here that means that god is pleased with him and his enemies didn't get the best of him all right and then look at uh 12 it says as for me you uphold me in my integrity and so that integrity is moral uprightness and set me before your face forever so he said you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever now in order for us to be able to get into the presence of god all right because you know we just can't look at god you know if being in this because why it's a man that looks at god you know they you know they will die all right can't look at you know at god okay but when our bodies are glorified then we are uh then we're in god's presence then we can look in his face we can be in his presence we can be in his face and that's only by the grace of god for sending jesus christ to make that way for us all right now let's move into our one line stanza to wrap wrap it up line 13 blessed be the lord god of israel from everlasting to everlasting amen and amen and so it gives us uh, several reference scriptures. Um, they're all in Psalm, in, in the book of Psalms, starting with 72, 18, 19. Psalm 72, lines 18, 19, that says, Surely you set them in slippery places. I don't think I was it. 72, 18. <laughs> 72, 18, 19. Blessed be the Lord God, the God of Israel who only does wondrous things and yes he does and blessed be his glorious name forever and let the whole earth be filled with his glory amen and amen and we talk about that that glory all right and then so look at 8952 psalm 8952 that says blessed be the lord forevermore amen and amen and then our last reference scripture for book one is going to be 106 48 psalm 106 48 that says blessed be the lord god of israel from everlasting to everlasting and let all the people say amen praise the lord hallelujah all right and so that guys is psalm psalms uh 1 through 41 which contains book 1 and lord's willing we will be in book 2 psalms 42 to 72 uh next time we're going to go ahead and start with 42 so we're moving we're moving and so uh i thank you you know for your likes i thank you for your comments um in book one um share it with someone and see you know what god is going to do in their lives as well as what he's doing in our lives as well so um to god be the glory that we got this done 
in Jesus' name. So I love you. Keep the faith. Keep the focus. And God bless you.